lots of different computer systems being built at different places around the country. So they've got partial list, 701, 2, 4, 5, uh, 705, uh, 7080, 7070, 7010, uh, no, not 7010, uh, 305, 650, 1401. Lots of computers being built at different places around the country by different engineers, right? That's sort of diluting the engineering resource and all programmed differently. That is, the program for the 705 was different than the programming for the 1401. So if I wanted to write a program for the 705 and have it run on the 1401, I had to rewrite it. That's expensive and um, uh, wasteful. So they said, we've got to solve this problem, set a team off, team came back and said, IBM, what you got to do is um, develop a family of computers. And by a family of computers, what I mean is you create an instruction set. And the instruction set is independent of hardware. It's, it's, it's what, it, what a computer instruction set ought to be. Forget about what it lies on. And now, given that instruction set, you go off to Endicott and you make a small, uh, fast as you can, but a one byte computer that's going to be cheap. And you go to Poughkeepsie and you lead a team to make a great big computer that's really fast and has a 16, 32, 64 bit uh, uh, access. And you can use, you have to use software registers, you can use hardware registers, you use software point to point, you use hardware. It doesn't matter. The point is that the architecture down here could be different as long as it met its price performance point. And they all used the same instruction set. IBM said, great idea, we're going to do that. And in April of 1964, they announced System 360, meaning it could do all the applications around the circuit. This was so successful that immediately they began to get not just hundreds, but literally thousands of orders. They saw that their present staff wasn't nearly enough. They were going to have to hire a whole bunch of new people. And so they lowered their hiring standards. And that's when I joined IBM. It was April of 19, uh, June of 1964 to help customers with 360s. 